Hey, this is just a really quick update about um, Danilo Cavalcante and his most recent escape. Um, and this is also a shout out to a couple of the YouTube uh, true crime uh, content creators who are doing an amazing job of following this. Um, I don't know how they have access to the resources they do, but God bless them because they're giving us a whole bunch of information up to including public scanner feeds that and and little pieces of information that's public knowledge that the media is choosing not to cover probably because they're you know not trying to embarrass the police department more than they're already embarrassing themselves so a um, couple things i will not be doing any more with this until he's caught or it's officially like everybody's thrown out their hands and gone home for the day because that's it games over we can't catch him um, I will say I did look at his birth date. Now, we don't know what city or town or village he was born in, so we literally just have Brazil. But even with just the birth date, you can still get some really useful information gen in, in a general sense about a person. One of the things that's very interesting about uh, Cabo Cante's chart is that he's got a Mercury-Jupiter conjunction in Gemini. Mm -hmm. Mercury, the fleet-footed swift messenger that nobody could catch in ancient mythology, <laughs> he has it emphasized. Mercury is in its rulership in Gemini, and Jupiter is right there, giving all sorts of protection and literally the luck of the Irish. So uh, that's, you know, lucky breaks are definitely like his thing, okay? Um, but it's not just good luck, because if you're wondering how on earth this man has uh, eluded, eluded the police so many times now, and up until the last time, there's a link um, below, and I'll, I'll make a second link in the comment section so you can find it easier if you don't you know, open up the description box. By a YouTube true crime content creator and uh, a couple of other people, a couple of civilians who are contributing the stuff because they're literally people in this area up all night watching these live streams trying to like wait for that moment he gets caught. So, and it's not good. It's not good. So if you're wondering how he's managed to do this, some of this is unfortunately on the police department. Um, you know, I mean, there it's costing a lot of money to search for him, but at the same time, like they've got every possible high tech, sophisticated, you know, sci-fi piece of equipment, uh, you know, military grade equipment to locate him and watch the video. And you'll see like it all comes down to actual people power and what you do and don't do so the, i it's going to be very difficult to fire like multiple people in the police department for failing and fumbling the ball this badly but uh we do know that the man who's in charge of all the operations that's been doing the press conferences he was in fact demoted a couple of days after the press conference where he invited the press in to look at their command room very quietly because this is how i know about it, it was on a, on a news feed um, very quietly, like a couple of days later, he was demoted. So he's no longer lieutenant colonel, major, captain general, whatever his title is. He's like the, the next title down. Now, with the other ones, they can't fire the entire police department. And, I, you know, obviously they shouldn't. Um, but what will happen, because remember I said earlier, Chester County or West Chester County, like the whole area, is lots of money in that area, lots of freaking money. And lots of people with political connections, right? Because the, the higher up the socioeconomic ladder you go, the more people with power and influence that you have access to because they all start to, you know, travel in the same circles, live in the same neighborhoods. <sighs> so they won't get fired. But I tell you what, all this begging, begging, begging these guys do every year for more money because they need bigger, faster, more shiny toys, right? More high-tech, high-powered military-grade weapons because, ooh, those illegal immigrants working the farms, you know, for substandard wages, you know, might have an uprising or, you know, whatever, right? Um, so they, they, it's like a lot of small towns across the country that have these giant military tanks for what, Bubba? Like there's 40 people in the town. What are you waiting for? You think the, the crops are going to become mutants and like come and attack the village? I don't know. I'm just saying. But, um, I can, I, I would bet my sweet bippy that their funding, their funding the next time this comes around is going to be really challenged because they had every high tech toy and expensive thing that is known to man that they had accessible that they begged the money for, right, with their funding and they got it and they used it and still cost everybody a fortune because on top of the manpower looking for this guy, the local businesses like Longwood and a couple of farms had to like 
uh, literally mow down early, early a lot of their crops so that there was more visibility. So people were harvesting prematurely their crops just to assist in this search for this man. So now they're out of money because if, you, if you've if you harvested your crop too early, you can't sell that. So, uh, and they did it out of, you know, the goodness of their heart and good intentions. And still, still, wait until you watch the video. Wait until you watch the video. So we'll do another video again. It'll be the last one in the series. Um, and it will be after we either catch him, you know, or, uh, you know, everybody throws their hands up and goes home. Um, now, I do have a chart set up for the time that the van he, he drove to Phoenixville in uh, was reported stolen. Um, and I've looked at the chart, but it's still, and again, I'm not touching anything. I'm not helping anymore. After this, listening to this nonsense that went on early this morning, um, no, mm -mm. I'm, I'm not getting involved in this because Jesus, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. And you know, you know how that goes, right? Um, they don't, they don't deserve anybody's help at this point. They literally should have done better by now, but you make up your own mind, watch the video, um, and start with a timestamp and I'll talk to you guys later.